about to survive the next 24 hours in a one-star motel. Let's go get a room. We're here to see if this one-star motel is really as bad as the reviews say. Or is it actually a hidden gem? We're gonna find out. Hey, good morning. Good morning. You have a, a room available? Yes. Alrighty. How much is a room a night? Oh, $90. Okay. And for the taxes, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. What the heck? She was so nice. Yeah, was, I was very surprised how nice she was. Again, dude, we got the room in literally a minute. Yeah. She didn't take any information, no driver's license, no nothing. So one of the employees just came over and said, the previous people who stayed in this room stole everything. So <laughs> they're going around trying to get extra cords, extra TV remotes, the cable box. <laughs> Funny. Some of the reviews were complaining about the service here, and so far I gotta say, they're pretty nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I haven't asked for any of this. They could have just let me stay in here and not provided any extra stuff, but they're going above and beyond with the customer service trying to make yeah. sure we have everything we need. Yeah, so far customer service is good for now. But we haven't seen the room yet, so. <laughs> okay guys, we just made it to our room. 104, got the keys right behind us. I'm pretty sure this is it. It just has one zero. The four fell off, I think. Yeah, let's, let's go inside. It's between 103 and 105, so. Getting some trouble. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> is the TV already on? Yeah. <laughs> that is the craziest looking backsplash I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. So we are staying in this one star motel for the next 24 hours, but every activity and food, whatever we do also has to be one star. Ooh. We are getting the full one star experience for you guys. Just to give you guys an idea of what other people think about this motel, let's read you some of the one star reviews. Rooms are straight up filthy. Ooh. They wanted $80 a night, and why'd they charge us 100? Yeah, wait, what? $80 a night? It was interesting, because she originally said $90, and then he pulled out his cash, and she changed it. She saw it and was like, oh, actually 100 with tax. John said, I was overcharged, cheated, and attacked by electronic weapons. <laughs> Just don't come here. The owner is mean. Nothing works. If she's the owner, I'd say she was extremely nice. She was very nice. Maybe if we made her mad, she'd get a little mean. The owner will walk in your room, even if you're paid up, then comes in and kicks anyone you have in your room out. She hits you. What? Hits us. She hits you and calls you names. What? And whatever you do, do not ask for toilet paper. <laughs> Should we ask for toilet paper? Yes, we have to ask for toilet paper. As you can tell, not doing good so far. The first thing I noticed is it smells very strong, but like a good smell. Like it smells like they just sprayed something. So at least some cleaning was done. The light doesn't really light up the place. Oh, so we got two beds here. Check it out, we got a TV here that I th apparently Whoa. works, but not yeah. sure what that is. I mean, the overall vibe in here is definitely kind of sketch. But I mean, what do we expect? It's a one-star motel. It reminds me a lot of the first apartment I lived in when I moved to Colorado. Really? Yeah, it, it looked, looked like it this? looked very much like this, like the walls, the paints. It's just like super outdated. First things first, we're gonna explore our room, explore the bed, make sure there's no funny business going on on in here. Uh, let's check the drawers first. Paint, glass, everywhere. Okay. No hidden presents yet. Looks like sawdust, maybe. Maybe just pure asbestos. Man. Oh gosh. Oh wow. That is pr that's pretty dirty. Let's have a look inside the microwave. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's, it's no dirtier than the one at, at the concert house. Took a second to open it, but that's fine. Any goodies in the fridge? Dang. Nothing in here, but definitely got pretty, signs of mold. Pretty dirty. Definitely smells right when you open it. Oh, this way. Oh, oh, there we go. That's nice. Pretty quaint in here. Check out the bathroom. Oh my goodness. The toilet's making sounds. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. There's zero percent chance I'm taking a shower in here. Yeah. <laughs> Walls and cupboards, stuff that you don't usually use in a hotel, it's like, okay, whatever. But the bathroom is very important that it feels clean at least, and this does not. What is this on the towel? Oh. This is the towel they provide for us? What? For showering? What is that? Dude, it looks like it's, oh, it's, oh, it's drywall dust. It's like from there. It must be they installed something in there. The whole rack is covered in it. Like there's dust everywhere. There's no way this is clean. What is the door, dude? Oh, my. what the? Wait, 
<laughs> what is going on? How does that happen? Somebody must have been angry and blasted the door. <laughs> we do have a window here, which is convenient. Let's see what's outside. This window literally makes me feel like I'm in jail. So I guess we keep it open for fresh air. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? what was that? The, the window still fell off. Drywall dust everywhere. We're not kidding. Everywhere you even have it on your hands. Like drywall dust all over the place. Oh, it's all over the lens. <laughs> Just a used razor, no big deal. Let's turn oh. the light on. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What? That must be what's spewing the drywall. What? Oh my god! What? Why is your... <laughs> Where is this dust coming from? Maybe somebody put something in there. It's the only place it could come from. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How did it get under the toilet seat? That's my question. I wonder if they maybe had something installed and never like clean, just clean up the excess dust or something. Isaac and I also brought something very imperative for tonight. Oh. It's in this box. It's gonna shock. <laughs> it, really, it really is though. Yeah. Oh, what, what, oh my goodness. Oh, that's why it's not open. <laughs> what, what the, what, what is going, what's happening out there? It's like someone's on the phone angry at somebody. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel very safe that the window is only blocked with a piece of stick. <laughs> Anybody want to turn their car alarm off? <laughs> The light bulb is covered in dust. I just don't understand where all the dust is, all this drywall dust is coming from. It's all over everything. I'm, my hands are covered in it now. What I'm... What? <laughs> you it literally just turned off. <laughs> and it was back on. <laughs> Buddy. Imagine it's your car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. As I was trying to say, I am most nervous about the bed situation here. Thankfully, the beds are made. We do have two beds. I was worried we were going to have to share a bed. So let's just uh, examine. Oh no. Oh gosh. What? What? I already found a present. No, you didn't. Oh. No way. It's a bug. It's got legs. No. It's not a, it's, it's not a bed bug, is it? It's a, well, yeah, what else is it? It's not a bed. bed. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even need to say anything. It's pretty obvious. There is not no way I'm, I'm sleeping here. We need to like completely cover our bed with either blankets, tarps, I don't know. If that's the first thing on the pillow. <laughs> there's a red on there. Is that blood? We also want to make sure to clarify, we did not come in here to slander anyone. We're just observing what exists. So far it's meeting expectations. Are you impressed? <laughs> Am I impressed? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'm impressed, but I'm definitely not disappointed. That bug just like, is so gross. Dude, I had, a, I had a bug in my bed last night. It looks like a tick. Got shivers. No, you did it. Yes, I did. <laughs> Bed number two. We have a, a big stain on oh that, just my. the comforter. Whatever that is. Oh, that's. Okay, I'll let you open this one this time. Okay, this one's my bed. I think there's still someone like sleeping in there. Look <laughs> at <laughs> a burn mark on the pillow. I don't really like sleeping in like like fancy hotels. I'm already on edge with sleeping in random beds. The pillow is kind of yellow. Yeah, it is compared to the other one. Oh. Oh, look how filthy this pillowcase is. What the heck is that? Yeah, dude, we can't. We're gonna get like a, like the ear infection or something. We cannot sleep in this bed. Well, if we want to get any new pillows or bedding, we have to go to a store that also is one star. Oh, so. great. How many square feet do you think this place is? 300 maybe? Yeah. 300 square feet, and somehow there's five different kinds of flooring in here. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> we got this wood one, we got a tile there, we got a different kind of wood, another kind of wood over here, and then a big tile in the bathroom. For some reason I already feel just kind of sick being in here. <laughs> <laughs> so the drawer's missing here. Well, the light bulb doesn't work. So that's it's full of dust. What this kind of feels like is like kind of a budget hotel where like it's like affordable rooms that people can stay in, which I think is good and we need those. But the problem is this was still $90, yeah. which is not that cheap. You, you could stay at an actual hotel for them. Yeah, that is one thing that set my expectations higher. Because if this was 30 bucks, I'd be I'd be pretty pleased with this, to be honest. I'd be like, all right, 30 bucks, I can yeah. live this. But for 90, I don't know. Interesting note about the toilet. This is supposed to come off, but it looks like originally they attached it to the wall for what? some reason. Yeah, look at that. Because you're supposed to be able to lift this up if there's like a, a check. Oh my. Oh! 
Oh my. Maybe that's why it was glued to the wall. Yeah. I don't usually open those, but it's not supposed to look like that, right? No. <laughs> For the final notes, we have a uh, pointless wall. I mean, no, nothing here. Gigantic cracks. You know, if it snows I bet, or rains, this is getting wet in here. Oh, dang. Yeah. But the door is just kind of like, dude, what? Not very secure. No, don't, don't, don't touch <laughs> stuff up there. You're gonna bring down a hailstorm. <laughs> It'd be like in Ratatouille. Next up, I think we need to renovate this room. We're gonna find the nearest one star home goods store to completely cover our beds. So we know for sure these are fresh brand new sheets. And then we gotta go get lunch, cause you hungry? I'm hungry, but I'm most scared about lunch. In here, I can kind of control what goes inside me, but <laughs> at lunch, <laughs> I have to eat it. Yeah, it's only gonna go downhill from here, guys. We are on our way to lunch now. We found a one-star Chinese buffet. It has 86 reviews, and they're mostly one-star. This one says, warning, do not go here. Had high hopes, but very dirty. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the food is old, lacks flavor, and is cold. They allow people to use their hands to pick up the food. What? Oh boy. I am absolutely starving, so I'm excited to eat. I'm hungry as well, but <laughs> a one-star buffet does not sound appetizing at all. Oh, I'm about to go nuts well, up. Worst case scenario, if we get bad diarrhea, we have a nice toilet at our hotel. Tell me you did not just say that. We found two buffets that were both rated one star. We went to the first one, closed down, building was for sale. Just pulled up to the second one, also closed down, building for sale. That's not looking good. On to the next one, I guess. You probably can't survive too long with really bad ratings, I guess. Captain of the Oz. One of the funniest things that I've realized from searching for one star review restaurants is that I eat at one star review restaurants pretty much all week long. <laughs> what? I was like, oh, I go there all the time. <laughs> we found another buffet. That's actually open. For some reason, buffets are consistently the lowest rated things. It's hard to find any that are actually still open. So this is uh, a rare sighting. One of the top reviews, it says that within hours, a lady and her husband both had food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> we better not have food poisoning, especially at this motel. That just sounds like a nightmare. Oh, this place looks kind of good, actually, dude. Yeah. First impressions, not bad. And as you guys can tell, there's actually quite a lot of people here. My expectation was there's going to be nobody in here, but clearly I was wrong. That pizza looks kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dude, I had to get this pizza because look at this. What is that? What is that? What is that? Wait, it There's definitely some interesting items here at this buffet. I have no idea what these bananas are, but they're covered in red sauce. That look kind of gross. What is that thing? It's literally just a fish that's deep fried. I mean, try to eat any fish. The sushi looked good, but I don't know if I'm going to eat buffet sushi. Sesame so chicken, this tastes like I'm going to get food poisoning. Really? I've tried pretty much everything here, so if I die later, that was on me. <laughs> Overall, I love it here. You don't like it? Guys, I'm having complete opposite thoughts. As Isaac, I could not eat my food. I'm very hungry, but I'm willing to not eat because it's concerning. I don't know why Isaac slept. I just, I can't understand. The only thing I'm not eating is this pizza. <laughs> just finished up uh, food. Well, I didn't really eat much. Too nervous. I'd give it a two out of five, honestly. Ready to go? Ready. I love that place. Oh. It's so weird that we both feel opposite. That is weird, man. Unlimited food for $15. I walked away with a little ice cream. Have a, have a little taste. Nah. That one is definitely not a one. I gave it a two out of five. Two out of five? I give it a solid 4.5. No. The rating is subject to change depending on how I feel later. But if I feel good. <laughs> We're feeling so good after that bus and lunch you could say that and we're at our next activity before we go back to the motel isaac and i are stopping off at a local bowling alley that has horrendous reviews for our activity <laughs> this is a terrible establishment probably one of the worst bowling alleys i've ever been to in my entire life you are honestly better off bowling on your wii than coming here 
<laughs> Wee bowling is pretty sick. Yeah, it says it's uh, extremely unsanitary. Right. You ready to bowl? Oh uh, yeah, I'm ready. It looks kind of scary. Even the building looks kind of weird. Yeah. So far this day has only been an adventure and that's probably because of my hoodie. The brand new J Stu Adventure Club merch just dropped. This stuff is by far my favorite merch we've ever launched. We got some cool stuff. So if you guys are all about adventuring like us, we know you'll like the merch. So jstushop.com, we'd love to see you join in the club. First thing I noticed is this looks way more like a bank or a US embassy than a bowling alley. I know. To my surprise, guys, uh, the bowling alley is packed. We're here midweek. It's about 5 p.m. Honestly, seems like everyone here is like intense bowlers. The whole left side of the bowling alley looks like a big tournament's going on. I'm actually kind of impressed. This is a pretty cool bowling alley. The guy at the front desk was super nice. Oh, it seems pretty clean. The tables are well, fine to me. Isaac and I are actually pretty avid bowlers, so I feel like it's going to be uh, a close game. So I'll go first. Let's go, Isaac. <laughs> Pretty good. Got two left. Two left. Whoa! I was hoping I could have got a strike on that one, but mm. it's fine. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. I can't do the gutter, it's too big. Well guys, that was most definitely more enjoyable than we bowling. I yeah. disagree with all of the bad one-star reviews I read. Everyone was super nice. The Everything was clean. The lanes were oiled up real good. As they should be. Yep. So guys, we are here at Cons. Surprisingly, this has a one star. They said this is the most crooked store in the city. So we're going to get some uh, blankets, pillows, everything we need to make our room much better than its current status. Hopefully you have it. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You have blankets? Okay, yeah, so the blanket will be on the bed set. Uh-huh. So far, so good. Pretty, yeah. pretty nice. Looks like a pretty average furniture store to me. I was expecting it to be a little worse, but actually walking around, this is like not as bad as I thought. She no. was very nice, greeted us while we were here. It's not living up to the hate. Sometimes the person leaving the review is the problem, and then they're just a hater, and they're upset that they didn't get what they wanted. This looks like it could be pretty decent bedding. I mean, at the end of the day, we just need anything. Anything's better than what we currently have. Do you guys want a specific color just in case? Whatever you think looks sick, that's what we want. <laughs> yeah. It has just the comforter, the two and the two pillow shops. That should be fun. Well guys, we got our new bedding for tonight. And overall, I definitely didn't have a one star experience, did you? No, definitely not. That was like a, a solid four star experience. They were very nice. The only downside was it actually took quite a, a while just to check us out, but that's the only complaint I had. We have new beds, I'm feeling great. Perfect, cons, good job. I don't think you deserve a one star review on Yelp. So we'll bring that back to the uh, motel and do a full examination. Gosh. Oh yes, I'll take bug bed. Thank you. Time to upgrade our rooms, guys. Pillow has blood on it, so you know if I'm gonna use that one or not. Oh yeah. I gotta say, for being a one-star day, it's been a good day. You're about the only reason why this day's <laughs> got a star at all. I still just. I feel so uneasy even just being in this room. The smells are weird, the vibe's weird, something's off, and I ain't about it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the TV works still. <laughs> but the volume button doesn't work. We found more of this powder. It's stuck to the ceiling. There's so much of it everywhere. If you guys have any idea what that could be, put it in the comments. It's all over the place. Hopefully it's not dangerous. We all fight spiritual battles, right? We do, absolutely. At least one or two. Yes. And sometimes I have God loves them. us so much that he has provided. We were getting kind of bored sitting around the room. So I decided to check out the property a little bit of the motel. So far they have one of the strangest picnic benches I've ever seen. Why is the table part so long? Also, if you want to pull up your own chair, you can sit right here. That's kind of unique, I guess. Kind of sick. They got like a little garden, like a little allotment section. Well, I'm not sure if these grills work, but they do have access to grills if you want to uh, cook meat for dinner. Oh. But maybe that can't work. <laughs> I 
think Isaac and I are going to chill in the room because it is getting a little darker outside. I'm gonna wind down. I'm not sure if I wanna be wandering outside at the moment. So we're gonna relax. Once it's fully dark, the experiment is going to begin. We're gonna uncover what's really going on in this room. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. The mysterious experiment box. Isaac, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm kind of scared to activate this, but... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a flashlight, guys. This is a black light UV light. Once we turn off all the lights in the TV and shine this light around, it'll reveal all the bodily fluids and oh. stuff our normal eyes just can't see during with the lights on. I feel oh. like we're in for a rude awakening, oh. but we have to do it. Light okay. going dark. Oh, that is dark. <laughs> All right, let's just start with the bed over here in the wall. Okay. Oh! Nothing too out of the ordinary. You literally can't see these little marks with when the lights are on. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Oh! oh dude! What is that? Oh, no! Oh! I am so glad we got the comforter. That looks like blood. Oh! Oh, dude, even up there. Oh, no. No, thanks. Dude, look how many splashes what? there are. What is that? <laughs> oh, no. I don't like this. You literally cannot see the splashes when I shine my phone light. But as soon as you use the black oh, light. Oh, dude. Dude, that's so cool. Look at this. What? <laughs> I mean, just looking around, there's lots of splash marks just all over the wall. The most concerning ones are definitely the ones on the bed. Next up, the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. What is that thing? There's a lot of weird stains on the bath. Oh! What is that? Oh, what? Oh, no. Glowing. Oh, no. Oh, oh yikes. I feel like little things like wiping the mirror down or like the, the bathtub, that's like gotta be bare minimum stuff, man. They just have a lot of explaining to do <laughs> across the board in this room. Just using this light just makes it feel even worse being in here. You see all the stains and everything. I literally wouldn't be able to sleep on this bed if we didn't get that comforter, oh, especially yeah. seeing the stains. I feel like I'm getting like a headache just being in here. <laughs> Maybe if I fall asleep, this nightmare will end. Well guys, I'm gonna lay down um, I'm definitely keeping my shoes on and I don't have a blanket to cover my body with, but I'm totally fine with that. Ultimate buffet is about to turn into ultimate mega dump. Yes. <laughs> I do. I don't feel like I have food poisoning, which is good. I'm keeping my 4.5 rating, but I do got to poop real bad. Good luck. Stay tuned. We did turn off the TV, but for some reason the TV's glowing. I don't really understand that, but Okay. You did it? Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah. You seem sad. Huh? <laughs> I just didn't like it. It's just a normal toilet. I just had to clear all that weird powder off the seat. I don't know what that is. It's oh. kind of, the powder's kind of freaking me out a little I bit. I know. Like, what if it's... It's because, it's because guys, I made the mistake of looking up on Google like weird powder found in hotel rooms. <laughs> and it was just all like horrifying stories of people Cleaning a powder oh, and like no. dying from toxic stuff. No, the powder's kind of scaring me. And I had my butt cheeks all over. I think we're definitely not sleeping tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll probably sleep pretty good. I'm gonna try, but odds are very low. And I'm still hungry. That's because you didn't eat all that buzzing food at the buffet. I think I feel hungry, but my like nervous system is shot because of how I'm feeling just being here. I'm like, I feel like I'm on edge constantly. Oh yeah, we gotta watch out for those uh, electronic weapons. Yeah, I don't know, whatever that is. <sighs> so we'll keep you guys updated. Guys, it's the middle of the night and I am super thirsty. Justin is watching a movie on his phone still. I don't want to drink the tap water here, but I did see a vending machine across uh, by the reception. So I'm gonna go outside. It's super dark. I know Justin would never come out here at this time of night. There's the vending machine. Oh. Doesn't work. Doesn't work? Sir? It don't work? Oh man. Thanks for telling me. It does not work. Oh, thanks for telling me. It would have ate my quarters, huh? Yeah, it was back man. Appreciate it. Dang it, dude. Appreciate that guy's help. Apparently the vending machine doesn't work. 
kind of crazy out here. I think someone's living in that trailer there. I think that being right next to a main road makes it feel a little uh, safer. Oh, hey, how are you? Um, I did have a, I did have a uh, quick question. Do you guys have uh, any uh, toilet paper? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, you have a good night. Good night. Guys, no way. One of the reviews said, whatever you do, do not ask for toilet paper. I thought the reception was closed, but <laughs> the owner came out in her pajamas. <laughs> thought we might as well see if she'd be mad if I asked for toilet paper. And uh, again, super friendly, super nice, even at this time of night. So I think it's safe to say I'm gonna go back inside. We got awoken by a commotion outside of the window. Looks like they're just going for a little drive. How'd you sleep? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I slept kind of, I slept good, man. You didn't sleep, did you? Yeah. It's impossible to sleep here. How? What do you mean how? I just closed my eyes and went to sleep. What were you doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? Sound, bad guys. No. <laughs> After reading all the one star reviews of this place, I have many things to be scared about. Yes, for the price point, this is pretty bad. And we are gonna be leaving these brand new sheets for the next people who are gonna be staying here. They're far better than the current sheets they do have. So I feel like yeah. that seems like a good thing to do. Yeah. yeah. No stains on these. Well guys, my overall experience, Unfortunately, I give it a one star out of five. I agree with the reviews. The only good thing was that I was here with you. If I was here Aww. by myself, it would be an absolute nightmare. Aw. <laughs> I'm giving it a two out of five. Only because the scary things that I thought were gonna happen from the reviews didn't end up happening. Yeah. So I'll give it a one star above. Let us know what you guys think of this episode in the comments and leave a like if you want us to do more videos like this. See you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>